In Belgrade, Yugoslavia and England take the field at the double. Billy Wright leads our lads onto the pitch of the city's biggest stadium. The overture's done, it's Yugoslavia who kick off. Right away, Yugoslavia are putting on a dazzling display of accurate, quick passing. But it's soon obvious that England's defenders are in top form. Full-back Staniforth and Byrne and half-backs Wright, Owen and Dickinson play a magnificent game. Here comes the Yugoslav left wing again, and this time they catch their rival's defence out of position. England, shaken but full of fight, try an attack. But their forwards, with the exception of Ivor Brodis, number eight, who works like a Trojan, just aren't up to scratch. Billy Wright helps out and sends Brodis off again. Bobek tries to draw the English defence, but they won't fall for it. They're playing a thoughtful, solid game that puts them in a very different class to their shaky forward line. Bobek centres to Milutinovic. He's well offside, but on he goes. The ref says no go. Local supporters shout to their defence as England move upfield. Billy Wright lends a hand. Then Ronnie Allen takes over. Up into the goal area, but his shot is wide of the mark. There's still no work for the scoreboard by half-time. 60,000 Yugoslavs work themselves into a frenzy as their idols attack. Merrick drops the ball. Three minutes from time, a debatable decision by the ref gives Yugoslavia a free kick. Inside right, Mitic finishes the job. England have lost the match by 1-0. And that's a cue for the crowd to really let their hair down. True, England went helped by dubious refereeing or by their opponents' frequent substitution of players, but nevertheless, our forwards need a thorough overhaul if we're to stand a chance in the World Cup.